subscribe smartic magic's channel and hit the bell icon beside it and on the bell icon select all to watch latest tech videos before anyone else Hello friends, myself Dashit Kumar Dash. Once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Smart Tech Magics. In my last video, I had shown you the face recognition-based attendance monitoring system using Python 3.8, where I just shown what are the necessary modules for this project and how we take the attendance, thereby recognizing our face. In that video, many of you have commented that it's not working, showing some errors and many more. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to execute this project without any errors and also how to install all the necessary Python modules for this project. But before starting this video, let me thanks to all of you for such an unbelievable response in my last video, which is just prequel of this one. And for the first time, my video got over 3,400 views as well as 83 likes without sharing. I mean, I myself haven't shared that video with anyone but still got such an unbelievable response. So thanks for it and please keep supporting me like this even in this video as well as my upcoming video. So without any further delay, let's begin. So for this project, at first we need to download Python 3.7 from Windows Store as I have already installed. So now I am just going to install all the necessary Python modules for this project. So for that, at first we need to open the command prompt. Now open files, then open this folder link to download this folder is given in the description below now inside this folder you will find a file named install commands.txt which is this file now just open it now you need to install all these modules by copy pasting these commands one by one on command prompt and after pasting each command you need to press enter to install it so i'm doing it It's installing. So now it's done, all the modules are installed perfectly. So now just open ideally Python 3.7. So just open it. Now click on file, click on open. Now go to the folder that you have just downloaded from the link description below, which is this one. Now double click on the file named main.py, this is the program file. Now click on run, then click on run module or you can simply press F5. Yeah, it came. Now enter your ID, whatever you ID you want to enter. Now I'm entering my name. Now click on take images. Now it's taking many images for better page resolution. images are taken click on save profile now here it's asking a password now the password is magics at present so I'm typing S M A 
G I X and everything is in small letter and then click on enter I mean press enter and here you can see profile saved successfully now let's take the attendance click on take attendance now you can see it's organizing my face and my name is listed here so this is how you can view this project now just simply press on Q to save your attendance now you can see our attendance is taken and it's saved in the excel sheet let me show you that also so opening file these are the these are the details while registering myself you can see these are the images that are taken by new registration for recognizing my face and this is the attendance that is taken just now now for taking the attendance again you don't need to run uh, don't need to register as it's already registering re registered let me show you that also press f5 click on take attendance you can see taking this in my face even this is also stored in excel sheet show me that also you can see so yeah this is it now in my last video many of you have also commented how to change the password so I'm showing you that also for that you need to click on this help then click on change password type your old password which is smartx at present is m a g i x and enter your new password whatever you want and then enter the new password again and click on save and you can see password changed successfully so this is how you can change the password so that's it now before moving to the conclusion let me say one thing if the project is not running with python 3.7 and you are getting error like this which is this one this one then it might be because of using wrong python version and in that case you can try the same procedure using python 3.8 or python 3.9 why i am saying this because earlier this same project run with python 3.8 and non with python 3.7 or 3.9 but this time it's strange to see that it's running with python 3.7 and not with 3.8 or 3.9 so for that reason i am saying if it by chance didn't run with python 3.7 then try Try the same with python 3.8 or 3.9 it will definitely run without any errors so that's it that's the end of this video so thanks for watching if you like this video and find this video helpful then please hit the like button like target is only 50 please help me to complete my target and if you are having any question about this project then feel free to comment down below just like you have commented in my previous video which is the prequel of this one and if you haven't subscribed my channel then please subscribe it and tap the bell icon beside it and on the bell icon select all to watch my latest videos before anyone else so once again thanks for watching see you soon in my next video until then, goodbye.